we're here with Victoria Clark, and this awesome image is what we're working on with the contemporary portrait. And we just talked about Victoria making uh, some smooth edges interior um, lean to the face, right? Um, and uh, some choppy stuff in the inside, and then also working with this kind of approach in the line one. You can also see the smoothness here um, on that one, but you don't want to have line, so this is a little bit of a better approach. You don't have to use these either. Okay, so what we would do is I would um, grab the... There, there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, I would say this is a really good place to start, and you can just kind of delete, um, but you can see that when you delete, um, and I'll click off, it doesn't um, link them, which if you had line, that would be problematic, but for you, not really, um, because you don't have line. But I think for most people, really the best way to do this is to grab the minus pen tool and just kind of come through and click, 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 and find it. Um, so you just have a lot of points right now. Um, so let's see. Um, there's also, um, see this convert anchor tool? If I click this, I can convert it from an angle to a uh, smooth. And, oh, yeah. okay. Um, my inclination is to hit delete on all these, but because I'm used to using anima animate, but, um, so basically looking for ways to get, oops, I don't want that, to get these to get really smooth and lovely. Um, so I think we're kind of getting there. Oops, Command Z, zoom. So, what do you think of that now? Do you want yes. this like little divot coming out? Honestly, that whole thing could probably be smoothed down. Yeah, yeah. So we would just kind of like go and there's kind of two shapes here, so um, in order to get these two shapes to kind of um, act together, we might just pull this together. These, there, if you have two shapes like that, okay, there's there's this overlapping, and I, you probably can never get those to work together. So I'm going to introduce you to the, um, let's see, there's a, it's, it's a Pathfinder tool. So if I go to um, Object, path. There's a lot of things like join if I had those, if I had deleted accidentally. Um, but the other thing is, um, dang it, where is it? There's also simplify, which, which instead of doing delete, delete anchor points like we were doing, all of this, this could kind of get us there. Um, uh, and so th that's another option. Okay, so compound path make. Okay, so it just, it didn't like doing that. <laughs> um, so let me see if I can make this um, function. Oops, command Z. Yeah, it wants to just be, hi Tristan. It's really being, uh, finicky there. Um, it wants to be two separate pieces. Yeah, so I'm just gonna maybe probably just allow it to, and then yeah. um, and then just kind of finesse this. I might even add an anchor point right here. Oops, have to click off of it. I think is what it was saying. Let's add an anchor point here, and then grab the white arrow tool and just kind of move it till it's like lovely little edging. And I think that you probably won't be able to see that edge. Do you see what I just did there? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. So um, just kind of move through this. So the other, so the other dynamic is like, um, let's let's find one that's really more complicated, like this shape. So I'm in. So do you see how I boxed it? But I didn't get the points. So I'd have to double click in, and then because that gets us into the path. Let's see. You've probably already recognized that, but I need the white arrow tool. Okay. So smooth, you know, like that, that's probably a big part of what you will probably want to do is just hit smooth on this stuff. See that? 
Um, and then the other thing is that we can do is we can box over Command Z. Um, let's see if we. I think that you can double click into nah. So you can shift. I'm holding down shift, and that gets me just all these little points, right? Punk, 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 punk. And then you go to object and um, path. Where is that path? And simplify. So it's not underneath there, but you can see there we go. It just got rid of a whole bunch of points and simplified it. So I think that that's kind of the key to making that successful as you move yeah. forward. Yeah. Okay, so that's the recommendation for like simplification on these edges, which I think will make this really sweet. And then um, for for the idea that we have for this this look, um, this is just really going in and drawing the lines and then putting a, a gradient running through it. Um, so do you want me to demo that, or do you feel confident about making that happen? Probably make that happen, but maybe please tell me gradients. Yes, yes, and I think I actually haven't shown anyone the gradient here, so that's a, that's a great idea. So let's click on this one, and uh, so we can either do this one at a time, and I'm going to show you one at a time first. But I think you could probably grab all of your hair and make it run a big old gradient, which is kind of what this is. But they're they're weaving in and out. So maybe, maybe we actually grab, so I'm going to hit V and then grab this one and this one. So I'm grabbing kind of not all of them. I grabbed like every other, kind of like what's going on here. So here's the gradient tool. Um, and uh, we need to have a gradient in there. So you need to grab, you can get it from the libraries, but OK, so here's the gradient. Um, the freeform gradient, I, I kind of really wouldn't recommend. I do like this one um, because you can a little bit control it a little bit more. So actually, this is pushing everything together, but it's it's just the wrong gradient. So it's the wrong color, right? So what we're gonna do is, dang it. Um, so we'll push this, and then you can double click, uh, double click this color. Okay, and then you can grab from your swatches. Yeah. Okay, and then double click on this color so the dots are the colors. And um, so you only have that one swatch, or I do, anyways. Um, I like seeing HSB because that is what we're kind of used to from Photoshop. So, yeah. do you want to go like with hot pink, or like what do you want to? Oh, no. <laughs> you know, it's like, or green to dark could be pretty sweet because that's kind of like what you do with your hair. Yeah. Okay, so with that being said, this this will shift that interiorly. Let me click this around. Um, we can also grab the whole of the gradient, that center point, let's see, and grab it to here or to here, see? That's awesome. Um, yeah. And so because, I mean, you can really kind of control it. Um, yeah. And so that is now, we can, we want to say, well, this is a, a really sweet new, new swatch. Um, so I don't know why it's like not, oh, it's because I'm on all three of these things. So I'm going to click off and click on just this one and add this to the, to the swatches. Um, so uh, new swatch. Uh, and you can name it if you want to. But now we can just kind of grab, shift click this. Well, let's see. We wanted this one, this one, maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe this one, and pop those into there. And then you would just work each one individually with the gradient transform tool. So you have to click into that to grab it. You can tell it to do what you need here. Um, if you if you feel like the gradient tool is, um, as a circle is not what you want, okay. See, you can also do this kind of thing. You can also um, move it. Okay, so if you feel like that circle one is not what you want, you can swap it to this one. And um, so that that can kind of help. Um, you should be able to turn this. There we go. 
Okay. okay. Cool. Right. So, um, and then you can you can just always swap it. Okay. So, that in mind, um, yeah, I think you could really move forward, smoothing yeah. these out, making the gradients, putting lines in, and uh, maybe even just adding slight texture to your your blouse or something. So. Okay, really, really sweet. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, do you have any questions, like technically or anything? Okay, yeah, so I'll just save this as a dash SB and I will um, put it on the drive eventually. <laughs> but I think that you, you can see where we're headed there, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks, Victoria.